Okay, so in this package should be a bunch of stress relievers from Banggood, and in this package should be a Lost Impossibles puzzle, well, dexterity game from eBay. So let's open them up. And there it is. So I'll, I'll just put that down and open up this package. Yeah, so I did order a few more stress relievers than what's in this package, but for some reason Banggood, um, they've, ship, they've shipped them out in three separate packets, so I should be getting the other two um, packages um, over the next few days. Not really sure why they've done that. So yeah, the first one I got this package and I heard the noise that it was making. Kind of sound, kind of sounds a little bit like a bell or something. I don't know. I was thinking, what on earth could that be? I can't remember buying any puzzles that would make that kind of sound. So this is a spiker massage ball. This is a wooden roller, and this is a pair of bowding balls. So I'll show you the stress relievers first. So yeah, like I said in my last video where I unboxed these two, almost call them puzzles then, um, these two stress relievers. Um, I have been going through quite a lot of stress over these last few months so I decided to get like one of each type of stress reliever because uh, it's nice to have a variety of them. They're really cheap as well, like around one or two pounds each. And the more you get, the more likely it is that you'll get at least one that will work. And it's more likely that you'll get at least one that works really well. And plus, if you just keep using the same one over and over and over again, maybe you'll kind of get used to it and it won't be, and it won't be as effective anymore. So it's nice for a selection of them. Um, yeah, I did actually use this when I was feeling uh, very stressed. And it did seem to help a bit. Um, it was kind of like I was channel channeling my stress through it. So... It kind of, I think it made my stress go down a bit. It did stop it from getting any worse. And this thing, it did kind of have a nice, calming, relaxing effect, which I was really surprised by. Because um, at first I thought, how on earth is that going to do anything? So, can't get that thing off my thumb. So yeah, so either these do actually work, or it's just a, a placebo effect. So let's open up these bowling balls first. So it's these that are making that noise. I think maybe they've got like bells inside them. So yeah, they come in this nice box. It's like some sort of Chinese building there. Oops. And you've got like this clasp which doesn't really seem to work that well. And here are the bells themselves. Yeah, they've got bells inside them, I didn't know that. So I'll give you a closer look at these. So I think these are like Chinese dragons. So yeah, these Bowdoin balls, they always remind me of that episode of Red Dwarf, where Rimmer is, um, is using those, I think they were, they were calling them worry balls or something because um, he's really stressed, I don't really know how you do it properly, something like that. Um, and he was using them so much that they actually wore, they actually wore down to two little ball bearings. Um, I'm not really sure how you... You kind of make them circle around each other in the palm of your hand, but I'm not really sure exactly how you do that. Yeah, they're quite hard. Um, not really sure what the bells are for, maybe that helps with, releasing, with relieving stress, I'm not really sure. So we'll put those back into there. Let's take a look at this wooden roller. So yeah, um, 
with this wooden roller, you, you, there's like trigger points on your body. Um, one of them is like, let's see if I can stretch my arm out far enough. One of them is like in the middle of your arm. I'm not sure whereabouts in the middle. I don't know if it's there or like there or whatever. But you just use it on like one of the trigger points. You just kind of roll it like that. And that's supposed to just kind of um, like make you feel relaxed and de-stress you. I don't know. Um, but yeah. You can just, I think maybe you roll it on the palm of your hand as well. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, you just roll it on different parts of your body basically. And then we've got this spiky massage ball. I think I think you can use this with like yoga or something. Yeah, there's like there's there's some trigger points on your back, so you put this on the floor and then you lie down on top of it so your back is on top of it. So the weight of your is on top of the ball and then you just kind of roll it. You just kind of move to roll it on your back, if you know what I mean, against the uh, the trigger point or whatever. So yeah, let's take a look at this uh, this Lost Impossibles puzzle. I do have another one of these. It's a crane one. This one seems to be a bowl of cereal, a plate, and a spoon. And you can see you've got like a played. Oh, it might not be played. I don't know. Um, like a tablecloth. Yeah, by Congost, made in Spain, uh, 1973. So, just trying to move these about so I can show you each thing, but they're all kind of just staying together. But there you can see there's the uh, there's a cereal bowl, there's a plate, and the spoon is underneath the bowl. Um, so yeah, the object of this is to get the bowl onto the plate and then get the spoon either on the plate next to the bowl or actually in the bowl. So let's see how far I can get on this. Okay, so that's the plate done. Oh, it's weird how the spoon is balancing like that on the bowl. That is so weird. I'll just zoom in there so you can see it properly. What on earth is going on there? It's like it's... Hmm. I guess the spoon is metal and the bowl has like a magnet in it or something. That is so strange. Okay, let's see if we can get the bowl onto the plate. Yeah, this is going to be really tricky. Okay, so I've got the bowl onto the plate and the spoon, but it, they're not really kind of sitting there correctly, if you know what I mean. The bowl is like tilted and you've got the spoon underne underneath it. But yeah, so there you go. So, from Banggood I got a pair of bowling balls, a spiky massage ball, a wooden massage roller and from eBay from France I got a, a Los Impossibles um, breakfast cereal uh, dexterity game okay I think I've figured out how to roll the balls you just basically do it like that I think before I was trying to do it the other way and that's why I couldn't do it but yeah I think I'm doing it in the right way Um, supposedly, it's, it says on the uh, on, on the website, like uh, if you use like three or four of them, supposedly you could, there's like different tricks you can do with them. Um, not really sure what kind of tricks you could do, but it sounds quite interesting. So yeah, that is pretty much it. Thanks for watching.